What's up guys, it's X2Robbie2x here, and I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And today we're going to be looking at um, different textures on a block from different perspectives. Now, um, I don't know where to really start, but I did get a suggestion that I should show you guys the final product before showing you a tutorial. So I'll try this, I don't know if, you'll, if you guys like it, let me know down in the comments or wherever. So I uh, I mean I made it already. So let's let's go ahead and look at it. Um I have it's called a blocking converter. Now it does, does not do anything yet. It is just a block. It doesn't have a GUI or anything yet. I will try to get to that later. But this is purely a block. Oh you You're so annoying. We we already we already talked about this guy. I forgot that I gave him like a a lot of health. So alright, we'll just he just came out of nowhere. Alright, sorry for that. I just heard it again. Probably should remove him from the world because he's pretty dangerous. Alright, so let's look at it. This is what it looks like. It's uh I don't know. It's I mean bricks uh, on the sides then a crafting table on the top, all retextured, and the furnace um, right there retextured, and underneath it is simply a blockium block. That works, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, as I said, this does not have any function just yet, so you know I can right-click on it. Oops, and yeah, it doesn't do anything. But I will try to look at that later. Now, also, if you can see this. It doesn't face me when I place it. Now, this is um, a lot easier done when we finally get to making it a furnace or making. Oh, jeez, that guy again! Why are you? Why are you spawning? I got it. All right, but yeah, um, that'll make it a lot easier to. Gee, your sound is really annoying. Um, yeah, that'll make it a lot easier to do when we finally get to the GUIs because furnaces and pretty much container blocks themselves have their own uh, method that pretty much allows it to face you when you place it down so it's just a lot easier to do it then than now because you'd have to make a brand new method are there more down there alright so I mean now that we you can see it you saw the final product let's go ahead and look at the code now this is I don't know it's it's decent code I guess it's uh you know it's not, it's not that bad. But first of all, I'm going to show you all my pictures that I made. So, Eclipse, Client, Bin. Now, Blockium Converter Bottom. It's simply, I just took my Blockium block and copy-pasted and made it into a new block. Um, blockium Converter Front. It's basically a furnace with our Blockium colors. Uh, the side is just bricks with Blockium colors. And the top is a crafting bench with blocking colors. Now that we've got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at our code. So where do I have this? Right here. Converter. So you're going to make a basic block. So final public static final block blocking converter or whatever you want to name it equals new. Um, block blocking converter. So we're going to make this class. I already have it made but you don't. So, yeah, make a block class for it. Uh, you know, it's, it's just the basics. Give it an ID unique from your all, all your other IDs so they don't clash. Uh, zero for texture because we're going to give it a custom texture. Um, set hardness. I did it 0.2F just so it's really easy to break with a pickaxe and you can get it back really easy. And set block name. Don't forget this. Do not forget this. You'll get an error. Um, just give it a name. Block and converter. Um, now, what else are we going to have to do is we're going to have to make some uh, class ints. Class, like, yeah, class ints. So just not, not, not inside of your constructor. Do not put this inside a constructor. It's still in your class. Right under all your declarations, just hit enter like twice. And these are going to be the side textures and integers. This is it. Um, basically, all, um, all, all pictures 
all textures are converted into an integer um, integer number and that number tells the game here is the picture go here and grab this texture from here so we want to make four ints or depending on what you want I have one in for set for my side which is the brick one for my front which is the uh, furnace one for my top which is the crafting bench and one for my bottom which is just a blocky and block you don't have to have a bottom you can make it all like one and you can you can only have maybe two so make everything the same except uh, you know just the front being different or the top being different so you don't have to have four but I have four different ones you can have six if you want you know it just doesn't matter now yeah I mean, make sure just to make those public static int don't forget the static because it's not gonna work if it's not public eh, whatever but don't forget it's public static int and then just name them something side front top and bottom or how many you have do not forget these names so we're gonna go in here and our converter so we register the block like we would any other block you know that's easy we've done this before uh... you added a name like any other block you know it's whatever again we've done this before now next you're gonna do all of your ints so let's see the top first you're gonna do converter top equals mod loader add override so basically um, you see how we did this right here blockium glass uh, blockium block yeah block index and texture um, this is pretty much what this is saying is make this is like the basic texture the default texture for this and set this set the default texture to the int of what we pass it in on this side so what we're doing here is pretty much doing the same thing but instead of capturing it as in a default like default texture we're capturing it as in a like a temporary int so you're going to want to do converter top equals mod loader add override same thing as we would normally and then you would do blocking converted top so the texture for that specific one now you do this for all your sides that you want different textures on and remember side side front front these have to correspond with the the first four have to correspond with your ints up here and then these have to correspond oops these have to correspond with the pictures that you put in your eclipse class now I put some uh, little recipe in here is basically four blocky and blocks in a square and makes a crafting like a crafting table recipe with blocky and blocks makes uh, the converter that's easy again like we already said so let's go look at our block blocking converter alright so again basic class block blocking converter extends block for now um, once we get to GUIs we're gonna make it extend block container but for now it's just block uh, simple constructor you know passing two parameters x and y or whatever you want to call them uh, you pass in that you uh, call the super constructor you pass in the X which is the ID and uh, a material which I do rock because furnaces and stuff like that are made of rock you can do I think it's soil or dirt if you wanted to so you can break it with your fist and still get the item back you know it's whatever you want just make the material whatever you want now this is the important part right here um, it's a method called get block texture from side so you want to do public int get block texture from side into X or if you don't feel like doing that or you think you're gonna mess up just go into block furnace and about halfway down the page you'll see a method called public int get block texture from side into I so go ahead and you can copy that if you want now we see here that if I so if the variable I mean yeah if the variable if the integer that we pass in is equal to one so if integer is equal to one then returns a block index and texture so I'm guessing this wait, is this the top or bottom I know zero and one are top and bottom so one is the top zero is the bottom two three four five are the sides and specifically in furnaces um, the three is the front and all the other ones meaning two four and five else are just a regular furnace texture 
So let's go back in our block blocking converter. There's brackets right here, but uh, this may confuse you guys, but like when you have if statements and you only have one line of code after that, you don't need to put brackets. But let's say let's say I would do like um let's say I would do like I don't know hello I, it's not it's not a line of code but let's say this was a line of code it would only go through this line of code and this would not be contained inside of the if statement so if you want you know you can put brackets around this um it's I guess it looks kind of better but I don't it just for time can like I don't know I don't like doing that if I only if I'm only using one line of code so let's look at what it does so if x equals zero so if the integer that we were passing in equals zero um, you're gonna return then you do your class so ours is mod blockium dot and then you're gonna return that int that you set the image to for so zero would be a bottom one would be the top um, two, three, four, five will be the sides. Now you can do the front wherever you want on whatever side you want. For now, since we're uh, we're not doing that GUI yet, it's not facing you yet. So um, I don't I don't know which side like like this maybe north, south, east, and west or something like that. I don't know. I just know that zero is the bottom, one is the top, and then two, three, four, five are one of the like each of the sides. So go ahead and do if x or whatever integer you passed in equals equals zero, you would return to bottom. And then do not forget this one. So let's say that integer that we pass in is, is a six, which would not happen, but uh, it's just a safe thing for Java. So let's say we pass in a six, and it doesn't meet any of these if statements. So then it has to go right here and just return any integer it doesn't matter it's never gonna call this unless you make some kind of an error it's never gonna call this so just return any integer you want it does this does not matter but you have to have this because then it will give you an error if you don't so and again uh, we can just put it like right here and this would still work because um, the if statement only goes with this line of code and this line of code is outside of the if statement so you know I just put it like on the side here just so you guys would know the difference but uh, I mean that's that's all I got um, it has different textures we can go look at it again and um, yeah Doo -doo -doo. so I'm kinda I'm kinda ticked off today because the early access for um, come on guy are you are you kidding me right now? I totally forgot that I have the blocking crossbow. But yeah, I'm a little ticked off today because the early access for the um, Star Wars: The Old Republic is today. There you go. Yeah, it's today, and um, I didn't get in just because I pre like I redeemed my pre-order code a little bit too late. But I didn't get in today, but hopefully I'll get in like within the next few days, so that should be awesome. And, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Put, some, put your comments down in the comment box, comment section. And uh, don't forget to leave your errors and suggestions inside of that Mon minecraft forum link that will be in the description do not pm me your errors do not pm me your errors i am getting overwhelmed with pms about errors and whatnot if you if you post it on that forums there's a lot of people who have the same errors as you and they're going to help you and it just it leaves me more to figure out tutorials than solving errors you know so i mean that's time for me that i can make more tutorials so um, I mean, that's it, so, yeah, I hope you learned something today, and, uh, thanks for watching. See ya!